Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. We are here celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we're all in our pretty in pink. We're in pink. And uh, let me just talk, talk to you about our next guest. Now, she's a two-time breast cancer survivor and one of the most sought-after international motivational speakers in the business. Please welcome the warrior coach, Rashawn Shaw. Welcome, Queen. Oh, yes, hey. thank you. You ladies are so beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. you. Strong <laughs> but Sean, before, before we get started, what inspired your nickname, The Warrior Coach? I think that's such a cool name. Thank you. You know what it was? Like, literally, I used to come into chemo with, like, red pumps, red yeah. lipstick, a fur. And I was like, I am beating this. I am not coming in with a sweatsuit. I'm not coming in, you know, with a headscarf, depressed. I was just like, every day, dress up, Brashawn. Dress up and show up. That's what I said every day. Yeah, like, don't let this cancer take me down. Dress up, so look good, and show up. So your doctors told you that you only had three months to live. Wow. That's the shocker to hear no, that. You're yeah. talking about, you know, having some damn bad news. So when they gave you yeah. that information, did you automatically believe that? Did that set stone in, in, with you? Or did you quickly just say and decide, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to win this cancer battle because this is not happening to me. I, 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 the devil is a liar. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know what's so funny, and I'm glad you said that because I remember talking to the doctor, and I was like, "What can I do?" Like, you you know how you just shocked? I was shocked. I just was stunned. And and he said, "Do you believe in miracles?" And something inside of me said, "You know what? Hell yeah, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in God, and I'm gonna see you in ten years, and I'm twelve yes. years." Uh, you know, yes. 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 Yeah. I mean, you, you just had to get it in your mindset. Like I had to get it in my mindset that everything I'm going to do, I'm going to love do. that. You have such a wonderful warrior spirit. Now you also have an app. Tell us about your app and how your app can help women in the midst of going through their cancer battle. How can this help them? Yeah, no, thank you. Oh yeah, thank you. So, so the app is called You yes. Are a Warrior. It's a mental health app. So it's it's spelled the letter U, the letter R, the letter A, Warrior. So it's everything. So I I wanted to do this because when I was going through cancer, I was depressed, I was mm. lonely, I was sad. But you know, we as Black women, we want to be strong. We don't want to tell anyone. We want to make it seem like we can do everything. When I was really mm. living a lie, I was living a lie in my marriage. I was living a lie with my cancer. I was living a lie with everything. And so this mental health app, it's a community. It's like a social networking community for positivity. I'm just tired of everybody being so negative on Instagram Girl. and Facebook. I mean, Girl. damn, you look at a comment and they're like, yeah, but your wig twisted. Yeah, but you got that in your leg. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me, yes. right? Damn, you can't give a black woman a comment. We all got to be putting each other down. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. Like, I wanted a place where women... We're and men like well, we can be positive, share our stories in a positive way. I don't want any of that negative. Use that to the side. Like we need support, we need help, and we we have issues that we got to talk about. And mental health is huge. So I put my money where my mouth is. I'm building it. All black developers, all black team. You are a warrior. Right. So I'm right. I am so here for everything that you just said. I'm just it's so excited over here, especially the piece about mental health, because that's the reason why we got all these these fools on the internet going off on people because everybody is hurting. Nobody's getting no help. Child, let, let's get into these misconceptions on breast cancer though, because it's not about them this month, okay? It's about you. Yes. Okay, yeah. Let's mm -hmm. do it. So okay, let's let's right. talk about the misconceptions about breast cancer and Black women specifically. So the Cancer Network website reports that investigators say the guidelines that recommend initiating screening mammograms at the age of 50 may be putting Black women at a disadvantage and that screening should actually begin when women are 40 years old. We just got finished talking about, uh, we just talked to another woman named Marsha McDougal who was diagnosed at yep. 32. So what are your thoughts, Bershawn, on this 40-year-old age limit? Because it, it used to be 35, so now they have used it up. Let me tell you, you're right, and I heard hey. what you said. It's just the insurance companies don't want to pay. I got diagnosed at 33. Oh. Let me tell you, you ladies need to be going and getting checked up. Check your boobies, no. And what they do is because they think if you're 30 or 40, you can't get it, you can get it. I coach women all around the world. I coach women at 35, 38, 40, 45. 
check yourself. And we have to be advocates and for ourselves, right? Yeah. Black women, you know, we get it more aggressive. We die quicker. We don't get the right treatment. We don't know about clinical trials, all of that stuff. Like, you know, all of these things that we ha don't know about and we don't do. Like, so me, I was an advocate. I was like, look, tell me everything there is. I was on a clinical trial. I learned about the eating. I learned about the exercise. We don't. And that's why I really push it. You know, I really speak for it. And I know Vanessa, um, Vivica, so, you know, she's amazing. I spoke to her about it. Like, we really have to stay on it because they won't give us the information. I'm sorry. They won't. Thanks. Rashawn, I, I love, I mean, we've, we've all stated how we love your energy and the way you speak about this, it doesn't feel like a negative. It feels like we can overcome this. This yeah. is something that we can fix. We can get through. And I'm, I think that's why it's so important that you're here. Uh, I want to talk about this applied radiology reports that uh, racial disparities exist when it comes to the types of mammogram screening that women receive. So they, they, they mess with the types. We're not getting the good stuff. Is that, is that what's happening here? I'm telling you, look, <laughs> you guys have to understand if we don't fight and we don't speak up or we don't support or help each other, nothing will happen. Believe me, I am a speaker. I coach top celebs, exec CEOs all around the world. I see what happens in the hospitals. You know, Johns Hopkins University, right? We've heard of it. Mm -hmm. In Baltimore, right? In the streets of Baltimore. One of the best hospitals in the world for research. No one in the neighborhood, no Blacks go there. None. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are we not going to, going to get the care? Why? Why are we scared or why are we being turned away? We're not fighting. We're not on the steps of Congress. I done been on the steps of Congress. I've been in rooms and men are getting, men are passing laws for their, their Cialis, exactly. their virus, yep. right? but we're not getting this stuff for us because exactly. women, we're not speaking up. We're not supporting. We're not standing up. I'm telling you, I see it. And that's what, you, you know, what's so funny. It's just that, and I'm so passionate about it. I know, because I just had a call before this. So I'm like, I love it. Love it. Turn, <laughs> up, turn up on these people. <laughs> you no, know, because I had a call before this and this probably got me pumped up. And I do a woman's call. And this woman was saying, yeah, you know, my health issue. Another woman, her like HR is not supportive. Why are we not supporting each other, women? Why are we not helping another woman? Why are we not doing that? Like, it just, it burns me up because- we as black women are strong, smart go-getters and are running the world. Well, Let's show them that. But do you think but that's because, we, like you said earlier, that it's like we all want to pretend that everything, we're okay, we're strong, we don't need anything, we got this. That's exactly what it is. Well, and we've been taught that. We've been taught to be, like me, I ain't gonna lie, I lived the phony life. I wasn't happy at all, but mm. it's funny. Yeah. I will I, I will say this, we, we are, you said, why aren't we? We are, and it starts with right now. Yeah. Yeah. You're, today, right you're, so, you're here today and you're showing us that you can overcome this thing and help others and be a voice. You're here speaking about this so eloquently. You are doing what you're saying that they're not doing. You're doing it. So now we're going to go and carry the torch and, and improve and, 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 and we're going to carry this and build upon, upon mm -hmm. what you're doing. So I want to thank you. I love this though. I'm going to challenge y'all when my mental health app come out. Don't be acting like you don't know. You are a warrior, okay? When <laughs> yeah. I come for you, my team, don't be like, oh, Rashawn, who? See? <laughs> no, you need we... someone like you for the example because I can tell in your spirit the passion that you have. Absolutely. And you have that voice that is commanding. And so you need to be able to believe the person that you're listening to. That's so right. my hat's off to you, sister, seriously. We got to thank Rashawn Shaw for joining us tonight. A true queen and a warrior. Make sure you social, follow her on all her social media platforms. And listen, this lady is such an inspiration. So please support her. We'll be right back with more cocktails with Queens after the break. <laughs> 